getting ready to go into the Clearwater Show, doing a real quick Spring Hill Showcase here, May 25th and 26th, if you're up in that area, and then the Nature Coast uh, in April 20th and 21st at the Quality Inn, and let's go on the show. UGC is here, which I didn't know they were going to be here, that would have brought stuff, man. Some unique cool stuff, got a Pantera photo here that's Becca graded, you come over here and you got the crew, baby, Motley Crew. It's actually a great looking just 80s style card uh, autographed by everybody. Come up here and look at some more little fun stuff. We got a David Bowie, top certified cut sig, one of one. Taylor Swift. Got a Rodney James deal. And of course, your Ozzy Osbourne. Sharon and uh, Ozzy himself. Those are really cool. It's always fun to see stuff like this. Uh, that's Aaron Judge right there from the baseball collection. I've got a, what do we got? Just a, a three with a mark for 600 bucks for a Jim Brown rookie. Eventually I'll end up with one of these. I just don't know what I'm willing to actually pay for one because, you know, it's just one of those cards that over time will just slowly tick up um, based on people that want things like that in their collection. So it's just one of those things you're just looking for. I saw some INS going up here as well. Look at Bernie Williams' card on card. It's just like an in-person auto, but it's really cool. They got a dual auto right here. And, and uh, the Reggie on the leader's card there. Just been someone got it. It's definitely different. You come down here, it's mattingly really cool. So these, this is just... This no indication. This is like an average cost. They got it here. Oh, that was a fun random yeah. card right there. With both Juan and Bud. Uh, and It's really cool. You can come here and find vintage. I mean, run in here and come in and get a T206 Ty Cobb if you've got the money and the uh, wanting for one of those. I like to show these cards off too. Uh, of course, Scotty and them, they always have really great stuff. So you can always uh, ask them, get a card, and uh, they go to multiple shows. This is all they do. So they're really good at it though. The mineral masterpiece card, a Spider Man. I don't know if this is a retro pop version back out with. Um, I just haven't seen it before, but I recognize the foiling on the outside. Definitely a little different though. I always like to show Michael Jordan autograph as well. Some lower end raw cards here. Walter Payton, Wayne Gretzky, Terry Bradshaw, Jim Thorpe. Uh, rookie cards there. But they have other raws as well that you can kind of piggyback off of in here and look at. And a lot of nice older cards, uh, whether it's beat up, probably not worth really grading outside of just being authentic. Probably an angle there where you can probably get a little more sometimes versus paying for the uh, cost of grading and then dealing with it, knowing the card's not going to grade higher. Pretty much come back authentic, but if somebody just wants one for a collection uh, and it's authentic, obviously, some people have to have this lab for that, others uh, are okay just owning a card. crazy that someone needed to scoop it on. A couple uh, sketch cards as well, 3D card. I like to see different things here at the show, so it kind of has a different appeal to other people, so I like to see the odd stuff. Ringleader cards that we did are really good, especially if you get some of really unique patching on the inside. Definitely uh, fun cards there. Again, these cards aren't the craziest uh, prices, some of them. I don't see that card a lot either. Uh, but you can kind of get in here and see that there's just a mix of fun, different stuff um, that could appeal to a lot of different people. And there's multiple cases of it, so. John Rodriguez patch card there, nice juicy patch. I'm not sure what it's numbered, but you got to remember the early 90s stuff, it doesn't have to be numbered low to have a nice game used patch. And with the lack of game used stuff we get now across the board and maybe moving forward, that uh, I think a lot of the stuff that's older is going to really uh, start to pop off a little more. Just kind of give me a rundown. Just some regular cards here, guys. The Juan Marichal auto on card there for 85. You got a uh, Marky Anderson card here. 
14 out of 100 uh, autos, probably out of archives. Willie McCovey down there. A couple of uh, mid-tier, low-numbered-ish Brady's. It just gives you an idea. There's a Marino, um, just standard jersey, but game use. For what, 25 bucks? Cost of a blaster, sometimes cheaper. Nice marble inserts uh, of more of the female variety. I know there's a different level of attraction to that. So these are marble based cards uh, inserts. So again, I haven't seen them before, but they're definitely you know, attractive cards. And of course, you got a few of the other on card autographs here from different shows and places. Really cool. Crowns in case, saw the Willie McCovey here in a 3.5. Again, I like stuff when they have stickers on them. Stickers give us starting prices, also lets us know how the market is kind of doing with some of these things. And you gotta hope that they pay attention, update stuff over time. Uh, a lot of vintage stuff doesn't move a ton. Uh, so that's a, you know, a little bit of a different story from a standpoint of uh, things that can move fast like a newer card or actually active player. Uh, like for instance, uh, uh, Jackson Holiday, which is always gonna get a bump. Uh, completely based on him just coming up and playing. Uh, so that's just an idea. So Keith here with his usual wall of wax and obviously his cards down there. So oh, he's come pick some stuff up and his, his autographs. I guess he just plasters his stuff all over the wall. <laughs> well, fun cards here in the case. You have the uh, duel here of Carolyn Henderson. That's really fun. And you come up, you got a duel of uh, Jeter and uh, Judge as well. Really nice patches on those. Fun Jordan with the hologram of the SP here. This is an A8. Always like to look at a couple of Jordan, some Kobe stuff. Again, all this older game news stuff so is going to remain popular. The infamous Brady card and a couple of uh, one of one refractors. Uh, you got the 23 through the archive of Mullen Ryan here and then the uh, Ichiro from the Topps archive as well. This auto it's really cool. Exception always does a really good job with their patches. Uh, you got to give them a hand for that. And you always wish that you could get more on card. And again, this person just has a, a fantastic collection of some important carols here. And then right above that, just kind of Henderson style, locking it out here. Uh, top uh, chrome cards here. There's a gold one of, uh, for all the gold page. Really cool. They really, they really pop. They did a good job with this design. I wish they would do some other things with it, but uh, we'll see in the future what they do. A couple of nice crowds as well. Otani's in this case. Little baby Boomers here. Moreno. They really uh, did a good job with that. This uh, Shohei with the uh, laser box in the background. They're really cool. Nice three-dimensional look to it. Show me this fire card. Number to 10. What was it called again? E.T. Alien Auto Black Eclipse. Yep, Black Eclipse. Number 10. That's really cool. This here is number, like number 10, red. It's the only one that's ever been graded. The other nine haven't even surfaced. No, nobody's, nobody's found one or graded yeah, one. Right. One or the other. Yep. You've got all these great Gunner Hendersons and uh, Corbin Carrolls here. Uh, look at the gold auto on the Henderson yep. and the blue auto. Those are super low numbered. And yeah, the Prestine stuff is for sure. Yeah, and I got the Carol Gold and the Carol Blue to go with it. Slide down here. I always like the logo of Fractor. Those are always fun as well. Got and then here are the other two. Card. Super sweet. Here's Stars of the Night, Black Eclipse. Number Stars 10. of the Night, Black Eclipse. Stars of the Night, Black Eclipse. From the, yeah, the uh, Chrome Cosmic is with all this stuff from you. Yeah, yeah, really cool. That is that nice. Card is gas. I appreciate you showing these to me. Yeah. Crowd signing here on the wild card. DeSantis. I think a lot of people at some point are going to have to start deviating back to non licensed for his auto uh, at a reasonable price, and even those are barely reasonable. Hobby Slam trade show June 21st and 23rd at Miami Airport. Showing a little uh, this year. It's a QR code in case you want to scan your TV. The guy that has all the Disney and uh, fun stuff like that back. How you doing today, sir? 
dollars, but any any item, ten dollars, and then a bunch of other fun stuff here, guys. I'm gonna go through some of this, see what I can uh, dig up. But I'm just trying to give you all a little bit of a view. Yeah, it's for the YouTube channel. What's the name? Of it? It's my name, Michael Ham, and then just type in fishing and sports cards. Yep, I'm holding in a fish like this. <laughs> or you can just type in Tampa Card Show, Clearwater Card Show, and the videos will pop up. If you're ever looking for different sets here, you can come here and dig through these to see if you're trying to complete the set. Uh, of course, there's a bunch of just, uh, I guess not lower end, but just regular vintage here that's not graded. So you can, again, help complete a set, maybe get more of a rare card. Uh, or upgrade a condition of one of the cards. This can be hit or miss at what show who go, comes to where and what, who shows up because we have so many shows. Um, but one of the few, again, if you come to a show and you see something or see somebody and uh, you can figure out who that person is and then contact them to figure out what shows they're going to, that's always going to be extremely beneficial because I get people that ask me, hey, is this guy coming to that show? And I really don't know. Um, very few of these guys I like no, no. Uh, and the rest of them I just see and I'm cordial with, obviously, because we all have the same thing in common. Keep it moving. There's actually like five or six uh, TCG guys here today and Pokemon guys. Um, I'd probably say at least six to this time around, which is a bit more than normal, six or seven. Um, but there's a little corridor of them over here and there's a couple scattered. Uh, the show's open now, so people are trickling in. They did say they had a lot of good shows yesterday, so people had a good show. So that's really good to hear. Um, they need to let people know when SGC is going to be around or C CGC, sorry, when CGC is going to be around at a show because that's a big deal. That's a draw. So I didn't know they were going to be here and I follow this stuff pretty well. They did say they were going to be at the May 24 Tampa show, but I may have to drive, uh, go pick something up to drop it off and come back. Nice so Tani card here. This one's numbered out 25 auto. I'm not sure if that's game used. Player worn. Uh, what else do we have? I was trying to see if people would pop out with some Tiger Woods stuff, uh, but I haven't seen that. Seen it a little bit here. Slow it down for a quick second. Just kind of reviewing this case here. Just waiting for a guy to move out of my way so I can slide over. Nice Volpe here on the first uh, with the uh, SGC 10. Thing. This is from WrestleMania. That's Ding sign it, but it's a seat cushion that was on the seat. Uh, somebody ripped it off the seat, and then had Sting sign it. And it is JSA. So that's pretty funny too. A couple of the other autos here. There he has. Usual stuff here. He has some cool comics too here. From some Thundercats. A bunch of wrestling stuff. He's the you know, he's the wrestling guy here. Uh, and that's Matt Gerber with Siesta Cards. He usually donates some stuff to us. There were some of the uh, Thundercats, a couple different uh, covers, and then some variants that can range all the way up to uh, one of 100, 150. You can see the uh, 9.9s coming out. You know, we have a big conversation about that on the Neos page and Sports Card Dad and all that. Uh, but there's some 9.9s, boys. Ahsoka signed JSA uh, lightsaber for show, uh, but these are really cool, it's fun. Different. Oh, what could have been joining Zach Wilson, yeah, dual auto flawless. Interesting stuff, you obviously have to name it. And, uh, nobody knows what Zach Wilson's going to do, but uh, really cool. Thought process, they had it right. You know, Connor Bedard Dazzler. Dazzlers. I want to see one other Connor Bedard card in the upper deck uh, for 500 bucks raw. But that's the only other one I've seen at the show. See too many rock booms sitting around here. Especially Burrow. He's really great at whether they're 9 or 10, it doesn't really matter. That's the Jordan Love stuff that looks like a pop for some people. Because uh, it's a lot of on card stuff from signing, it looks like. Trevor Lawrence, too. Always funny to look at another Joe Namath dual card, Sam Darnold. At least that one has barely some upside. But man, Jets. <laughs> Every time you see that, you're like, there's your guy, and uh, everybody else is trying. Fun triple pack right here of uh, Burrow to uh, Justin Herbert. Really nice uh, Kyler Murray here. It's, it's an 8 on the card and a 9 auto. So it dings it up a little bit there, but that's a really nice, good looking patch stuff. It's a rookie as well. I'm gonna come over here, you got a nice rod, just. And then the uh, Rob Gronkowski as well. You got some, some F1 guys. Here's some F1. There we go. Light has been exposed. 
Really cool. Nice. Yeah. Williams, Caleb Williams, dual pass shot right I think I gave you what, like 13 or 12 or something like that? That's all the upcoming stuff. That's Caleb. That was a nice part, man. Victor and Green yeah. there at a retail. Mm -hmm. Hola amigo. 